Greetings, my name is Owen Ryder, and I am the author of the Christian book, The Hourglass, by Owen Ryder. You know, one of the most prominent miscalculations about life is thinking within our craniums, our brain has all the answers, and decides what is real and what is not. And the fact is, there is much we don't know of this life, apart from what the Holy Spirit reveals to us. As for the answer to the above question, as unbelievable as it may seem, is yes. We do live in a digital simulation of sorts, and science can at least mathematically prove it in the form of quantum physics and or the study of smallness. For instance, we know if one were to wave their hand freely in the air, there are a host of what are to us invisible matter that moves at our behest. At a basic level, then, quantum physics predicts very strange things about how that matter works, which is completely at odds, at odds with how, how things work in the world as we know it. Quantum particles can behave like particles, located in a single place, or they can act like waves distributed all over space, or in several places, all at once. How they appear seems to depend on how they are measured, and before being measured they seem to have no definitive properties at all, leading us into a confused conclusion as to the nature of basic matter, and thus reality itself. In their June 2005 issue, Scientific American Magazine stated, and I quote, Our universe is but a shadow of a larger reality, end quote. The fact is, the collective electrons found in an atom makes things seem solid, yet solidity is actually but an illusion. At the same time, there is a limit to smallness in that particles that are quantum cease to be local and are everywhere. Every photon is connected to every other photon. There is even a limit to smallness in that it is granule made up of the smallest units. The universe is considered infinite, but it actually is not, and mathematics can prove it. And as sure as our physical bodies will one day cease to be, yet our souls will go on in some capacity, so too is reality as we understand it, a mere simulation. My name is Owen Ryder, and once again, thanks for listening.